Hey you going RPG fans? I bring good tidings. Yesterday, Square Enix announced that they will be releasing Dragon Quest 7 on the Nintendo 3DS. Fantastic. Dragon Quest 7 is one of the entries in the series that I have not played yet. One of the main reasons is it never got released in the PAL regions. It had its normal Japanese release and it had a release in America. Now for all of you that don't know, Dragon Quest 7 was a game for the PlayStation 1. That's the original versions on PlayStation 1. And it was a really big game. It was on two discs and the game goes for more than a hundred hours uh, making it the longest Dragon Quest game and probably the long one of the longest PS1 games at the time and I've always known about it for a very long time, more than 10 years, and it's one of those games that I've always wanted. And it's really funny, back then it wasn't called Dragon Quest, it was still called Dragon Warrior. In fact, uh, Dragon Warrior 7 was the last time they called it Dragon Warrior, and then they got the rights to call games Dragon Quest again outside of Japan. So, really, really cool. I'm just going to say this now, it's announced for Japan. There is no definite... Uh, plans in motion to translate it, but going off all the other Dragon Quest games that have been released, they've done really well. Uh, Dragon Quest IX performed outstanding. I know it, you may have already know that it sold 5 million copies in Japan, which is kind of really common for a numbered Dragon Quest game to do because it's just so popular. It's like um, their favorite pastime in Japan, which is really cool. And I looked at the figures, and in Europe it sold about 700,000 copies, and in America it sold 600,000 copies. It was really, really, really good for a, a Japanese RPG that's not Final Fantasy, even though I like Dragon Quest but Final Fantasy. But anyway, um, really good. I have high hopes that everyone worldwide will get a Dragon Quest VII. Um, it's really sad that, once again, 3DS is region locked. If it wasn't, I'd be importing that lickety split. But, of course, we can't. Sadness. But. Okay, just to give you some information on Dragon Quest VII, it will have a release in Japan on the 7th of February 2013, which is really, really soon. So they must have been working on it in the shadows and were able to secretly keep it from being leaked, which is pretty awesome. It's a nice surprise. Um, I definitely think the Dragon Quest fans are very <laughs> appreciative of that. But um, it's developed by Art Piazza. They were the group that basically made the Zenithian Trilogy remakes on the DS. And they are great games. Being honest, I actually still need to beat 6 and after hearing this news, it's kind of motivated me to pop in the cartridge and give it a go. I was kind of, I would say, a third way through the game. I, it was good. I don't... I don't like it as much as 4 and 5, but it's still a good game and that's kind of the overall consensus, but there's some pretty been some pretty hardcore uh, debates in the past where a lot of people like 6 and a lot of people like 5 and I, like I said I'm only a third of the game so there might be still some surprises left that may change my com opinion but I really like 4. It's probably one of my favorite games on the DS and I've played it to oblivion and as for 5, five's easily one of the best stories in the series, if not one of the best stories in an RPG. So, really, really glad that it's in the hands of Art Piazza again. Really like their work. One thing I have to mention now that I think is extremely cool is that the soundtrack will be completely symphonic. Now, if you've been a big Dragon Quest fan like me for years, you'll know that most games, they like to have the original score and then later on they'll release a symphonic suite and those symphonic suites are amazing. I've heard nearly all the symphonic suites by uh, Kuiji Tsukiyama. They're nothing short than just simply 
simply outstanding. Uh, I listened to the Dragon Quest IX Symphonic Suite and uh, Heaven's Observatory. That is just such an amazing track. You can just lose yourself listening to it. Um, here's a funny fact that if you don't already know is there has been a game in the past where they actually switched the original soundtrack with the Symphonic Suite. It actually happens to be my favorite game in the series, which is incidentally my favorite favorite game on the PS2 and that is Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Quite easily one of the greatest RPGs ever made. For all you that don't know, in North America and Europe we got the version with the Symphonic Suite. That's why everyone says it's just such an epic soundtrack and you see so many people raving about the music and I'm one of those people that rave about it because it's so amazing. But I actually watched the video of the original Japanese version of Dragon Quest and it's actually just the normal score and it's actually kind of lackluster. It's not as good. It's kind of goofy. <laughs> but So it was really nice of Square Enix to basically give us that added bonus by inserting the symphonic suite making the game just that much more sweeter. And it's really cool for Dragon Quest 7 they're just gonna release it with the symphonic version of all the tracks from Dragon Quest 7. I'm really looking forward to that because there hasn't been a Dragon Quest game with a symphonic soundtrack since 8 and I'm really looking forward to it. Now as for the visuals basically they're going to be using the same engine or close to the same engines that's in Dragon Quest Monster Terry's Wonderland, which was the last Dragon Quest Monsters game released in Japan on the 3DS. And of course that is a remake of the original Dragon Quest Monsters 1 on the Game Boy Color. Um, the graphic style, the 3D graphics is just really, really good. High quality GameCube style graphics, just phenomenal. But the more about the graphics system is the original version of Dragon Quest 7 was the last major numbered Dragon Quest game to feature the really old style of Dragon Quest where when you went into battle you saw the enemy and then you saw the background but you never saw your characters and that completely changed in Dragon Quest 8. Well with the remake you'll be able to see the characters in combat uh, like the current Dragon Quest games with Dragon Quest 9 and uh, Dragon Quest Monsters and it looks really cool I must admit. Uh, the character designs of Dragon Quest 7 was probably the... I, I gotta be honest I don't know I'm very unsure because when I look at the cast of 8 they look cool um, the customization of course of the characters from uh, nine. I really love the cast of four. Uh, I love the cast of five. Slowly growing to love the cast of six. Now the thing about the remake is, is they're going to be throwing in costumes for the jobs and one thing that just makes me laugh is that Japan cannot help themselves. Uh, the, in the game you've got the main character is you know the the young the younger black sort of slightly spiky headed um, hero. You've got the blonde head one. I'm not too sure what his name is. And then you've got the girl. Now the costumes for the girl. Jesus, Squares, you could not help yourselves. Uh, a lot of bare midriff. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but just I don't know for a character that age, it's a bit bit iffy, but. I just I just love the fact that they couldn't help themselves and I mean it's substandard now with Dragon Quest. I mean you see some of the costumes for you know the female characters and you know uh, they're not too extreme. I mean come on for all of you that played 8 with me some of the costumes they had for Jessica you know just it even made you chuckle and made you grin you know especially in that one part in the game where you had the puff puff parlor that's a tale for another time. Now, I've been waiting for a game like this to be on my 3DS. My number one reason for owning a 3DS is to play Fire Emblem Awakening and 
hearing about this, I would definitely easily say the Dragon Quest 7 is probably the next biggest reason to own a 3DS. So if you're very unsure about owning a 3DS and you want a high quality, very long RPG, I definitely say um, give this a chance if it comes out stateside. Guys, let Square Enix know. I know they've been iffy of late and what they've had to offer isn't really too appealing for me, but this is it. This is the one game that they've announced that I want more than anything from them. And if they bring this out, I will cut them some slack and give them credit where credit is due. So guys, that's it for this video. Comment down below if you're excited for Dragon Quest VII being on the 3DS. Um, what would you like to see them do for this version if you've already played the original on PS1 and I've got to say to you lucky people that um, <laughs> be, be glad you did because we missed out on it here and we kind of suffered for it but um, hopefully no longer will we have to feel that way we'll be in the same group as everyone else when we finally get our hands on the 3DS version so that's pretty much it now, if you excuse me, I've got a certain craving to play Dragon Quest VIII. Um, yeah. You ready for a good time, Mr. Slime? Alrighty. Alrighty, hero! It's his first time. Looks like he's enjoying it. Now Yangus! Now there's a guy who's been there more than once, I'd say. As for him, he probably has an outstanding credit there. Oh, come on, Jessica. You're wearing that and you don't like it? I call foul, little lady. Shall we do it again? <laughs> 